boyfriend update. Okay. I don't know why I find this so funny. Maybe it shows that I'm slowly like becoming less sociably uh, acceptable in public. Because I'm like, isn't this hilarious? And they're like, why? I don't know. <laughs> Just something about it makes me laugh. Okay, so this is called Who I'm Dating. And do we even call it that? <sighs> you didn't learn your lesson the first time? You didn't learn your lesson the first time. Okay, let's blast the new, the new guy right on the interwebs uh, two years later. Not even, let's see, when, when was this? Eight months ago. So when is this? Is that 20, in March 2022? So she's going to be like, this is my new boyfriend. So get ready for more, more hot tea on my podcast and in my new book and in my tour and wherever else I sell my life story. Okay, here we go. In a hat. Jen Hatmaker. Here we go. If you missed it, I let you know very recently that I am dating a man. And I, he's pretty dreamy. And I'm pretty over the moon. So it's Tyler Merritt, um, who I've tagged. Go back and look if you've missed it. Go back and get it. Go back and pick it up. And um, we met randomly in New York. Um, neither one of us lived there, but we were both there by ourselves. I was there for work. He was there for fun. And we got connected because we had the same publicist. And I was like, I'm going to stay one more night. And I... Um, I think I want to go see a show tonight. I think I want to go see Waitress. And she's like, oh my gosh, I have a brand new client who you would love. Because we were there, she and I were there for work. I have a brand new client who you would love. And he's going to go see Waitress tonight. How could I connect you? And I was like, oh, sure. What could, why not? And here we are. Listen, I was on record as saying, I cannot imagine a world in which I, a man, a man comes into my life in a meaningful way via a dating app. I, I, this is not a judgment. A bunch of people I love found love on the internet through a dating app. I <clears throat> it is a judgment though. <laughs> I could never, but like you guys, I totally support you. I could never demean myself to the point of dating someone on the internet. Are you kidding me? Who am I? A loser? But you guys, you just, you do you. Um, now famously sort of, uh, Rachel Hollis met her boo thing. Must find boo thing. Hold on. Boo thing. Where are you? Boo thing. Um, he's not from Europe though. I don't think, I think he's from New York. Maybe. I don't know where he's from. Actually, he's not from New York. I don't know where he's from, but, um, we can, I have his Instagram pulled up. We can look at who he is, but, uh, this reminds me of Rachel, swearing up and down that she only went on the dating app to make friends, right? The celebrity dating app, Raya, which she later called out as specifically as Raya, uh, where she surprisingly only met one friend who became her boo thing immediately and is now, you know, mentioned every single podcast she does, was was talked about it at length at her Rage Talk tour. I'm assuming will be a part of her book. So it's, the stakes are not just love and companionship. The stakes are monetizable content for the brand, whatever the brand may be. So I feel like that something similar is coming and happening in this world with Jen and not to say the men are innocent victims of, of their capitalistic endeavors. I, you know, they probably are cool with it or have the choice to say no. So I'm not saying that they are, you know, victims of this whatsoever, but I just think there's a lot more involved than just like, yeah, like, uh, you know, I, I just met this guy and it worked out. I think Rachel pursued it. I think Jen pursued it because they kind of deep down know their day-to-day -day lives with nothing juicy and gossipy to talk about is very basic and boring, most likely. Like they, their whole writing style revolves around the people in their life. And you can only write so many funny stories about peeing your pants before you got to put some juicy like details about who you're dating in it or else it gets boring. Um, and I do think this is judgmental from Jen. She's like, I would never be on a dating app, whatever. I just can never picture it. It's like, so what is that? Why? Go into detail about why you don't think that that's a thing. And is that clouding your judgment, making sure that this relationship works? 
versus going out and meeting people slowly or you're like, I just can't go on dating apps. So I'm just going to like make it work with this one guy who I was set up with. And no matter what, I'm just going to, you know, any red flags, I'm just going to go like this uh, because I cannot bear to be on Bumble or whatever. It's like, I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Jen, continue. I just knew I couldn't do it. I'm like, what? I'm just going to like meet some man just meet him i'm just gonna go to a restaurant i don't know him yeah and like talk to him yeah. no i'm am i'm gonna text him yeah. we're gonna text no um why it's impossible to me you guys i'm very old-fashioned right and um the last i'm very old-fashioned twist the hair she doesn't she look uncomfortable i'm sorry i don't mean to like continually point it out but like this doesn't look like I'm just hanging out with my girlfriend, you know, like I think she wants you to think it is. It's just, to me, this is very stuffy, this, this pose and this chair and this hair and this hat. For some reason, I'm just like uncomfortable with the whole thing. It feels very forced in my opinion. Um, so she can't text and she can't go to a restaurant to meet a man. No way. She's got to go to the waitress in New York. Last time I had a first date was in 1992. All right, so let's just go ahead and say I was out of practice and I don't understand the new ways. And so, thank you, Tyler, for saving me from like Bumble or whatever. And also, I want you just to know now how dating is going for me because um, basically all the time I'm sort of just like I can't I can't do anything because I'm dating. It's that's where my that's where my brain is, right? That's where my attention is going. That is what I want to do. So I'm just like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to make that deadline because I'm dating. Uh, and this transfers to all kinds of things. Like I'm, it's just, I'm using it carte blanche. Like, oh, I'm going to be unable to think about this at all because I'm dating. Or I'll tell the kids, oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm not going to be cooking dinner tonight. I'm dating. I don't, well, you want to cut an onion? When I heard that, I was like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> what the frick? Guys, I am dating. Cook your own dinners, children. I don't know how old her kids are. I think they're older relatively, but <laughs> can you imagine? I don't know. I don't have children for the record. Most of you probably know that, but even if like, can I, my cat, Taro, Taro, I'm dating. I can't be feeding you every day. This is ridiculous. Find your own cat food. R rub your own back, Taro. She would be so sad. Um, <laughs> and also, I know she's not, she is like sort of in the women's empowerment movement or, you know, in her own mind would think, and people say about her probably in her bio, like she's a, you know, Jen Hammock or is a, a women's advocate to whatever. I don't like that. As soon as you get a boyfriend, oh, I can no longer do my work assignments because I'm dating. And that because it becomes an acceptable thing that a woman empowerment leader is saying, uh, about her, you know, business activities, like, of course, balance and live your life, but it is irresponsible at a certain point when you have responsibilities for other people's paychecks, you know, for if you have to write a book or you have to produce some content or whatever, and you're saying, sorry, I'm not going to hold my end of the bargain because I'm dating. That is just so ridiculous uh, from a man or a woman to say that. It is asinine. And so to repeat this message to your followers as if this is acceptable behavior to me is ridiculous and, and silly. Um, yeah, I'm just not a super fan of that. Uh, the kids one is like 10 times worse. So just like, okay. You know, you can do two things at once, right? You can have a family and date. You don't have to pick one or the other, but okay. That's not what I do anymore. So, um, that is a useful, I don't know. Oh, also, um, she didn't say I'm just kidding, by the way. So if she is, it's lost on a new follower. So, um, I wanted to also bring up, of course, Rachel Hollis, I think like a, maybe a year ago now she had created this whole excuse too, that she's like, oh, the reason I didn't hit my, my goals, my revenue goals, and I was, you know, my financial goals and whatever was because I was making out. I was making out with my new boyfriend and I got so mad. I don't think I was streaming yet, but I was recording a video and I got so mad. I'm like, 
you didn't make your goals because you were canceled by the internet for putting down an entire class of women by, you know, insulting your sweet woman who comes to clean and doubling down on it and not fixing your content and, you know, all these things that she deserves to be judged for. Not that you got a boyfriend and you're so obsessed with him that that's why you decided you decided not to accomplish your goals this year. So I don't know who said it first, but now I'm wondering if Rachel heard it from Jen or Jen heard it from Rachel and they were like, perfect excuse. Yes, I will just blame love and then no one can judge me. I don't know how long I can keep that up, but it is what I'm doing because um, it is how it feels. So anyway, he is phenomenal human a bunch of y'all went and followed him human after i introduced him to the community and he was like this is a lot of women it's can you imagine introducing your boyfriend to a community humans a lot of women and it's a lot of white women at that i'm like i know um he's black and then all the white women came for him and so you know god bless thoughts and prayers to him you know y'all keep him in your prayers as he navigates this new world. Um, but anyway, this is me all the time. It's gross. We're gross. I admit it. God. I freely admit it. It's gross. Not sorry. I want to throw up. Hold on. So. Um, that was me. So I just want to give all my feelings, all my shout outs to the women out there in our, the, in the middle of our life who are having to date again. Like, what does that mean? And what does this look like? And how do I do this? And who will help us, right? Who will help us? May somebody just randomly connect you with an amazing man because you happen to be in the same town. I hope this for you. I hope this is the like magic. <laughs> I hope for all the single lonely people out there that your book publisher also hooks you up with someone who is also going to the same musical as you on the same night and that you all can um, find love outside of the stupid little ick, ew, dating apps, you freaks. <laughs> yes, let's get it clear, clear, clear. I hear you. Clear, clear, clear. Click, click, click. Yeah, I cannot stand an influencer in love. There is nothing worse. <laughs> There's nothing worse than that. Like miraculous way this happens and you don't have to wade through a bunch of garbage. Um, but I do suspect that is the normal experience. Anyway. So how would you know, Jen? How would you know? You've never been on a dating app, you said. So how would you know that you have to wade through garbage? I mean, from my personal experience... I, I only went on, okay, t t I have very limited experience as well on dating apps, but I went on a date, on a dating app. It was a wonderful experience. The person was great. I had heard nightmare stories about like, oh, dating, dating. My experience was fine. I didn't go on a million because I didn't necessarily have to. But like, it's really, I don't know. It's mean to think that any time you're dealing with anybody I don't know. It's just kind of, it's mean to women who are on dating apps, who are trying to find somebody in a healthy way and have some standards and have some choice and, and choosing to go and meet people and put themselves out there. And she's not, you know, overtly saying like, you guys suck, but like, it does seem like a judgment. Like, oh, should I, should I just be ho like waiting around my house, like waiting for someone to set me up on a blind date? Like, that's not how it works. Oh, now I'm that person. I am that person. I feel it. I feel myself being that person and I cannot stop it. I feel myself saying like, Jen, have some chill. Also do your work. Also cook dinner. Also like, there's other, what else is going on in the world? Can't stop it. So, no, you know that about me. All right, everybody. I just, this is what I know so far. This is what I know so far about anything on this subject. Um, but I'm pretty happy about it. Okay, um, have a great day, everybody. To all my like dating warriors out there, just keep going. Like, there there are good men. I I'm telling you, it's a I found one. I there he can't be the only one, right? I think they're out there. Just like keep going. Come on, champions. You know what? I guess you're just gonna go to a rest. You are just gonna talk and you are just gonna text. That's how it's gonna go. I believe in you. All right, y'all. Y'all be sweet to Tyler. Y'all be real sweet to him. We're a lot to handle. 
this is a lot. This is a lot. Um, and he's just a man, like just living his life. And all of a sudden he's like, whoa. I'm like, well, I knew, I knew that it was going to be a whoa for somebody. And he's the one. So be gentle with him. He's the one. Once again, they were married for over 25 years, her and her ex-husband. And then, you know, within a two year span to now be like, this is the one. I just think go on some dating apps and just fucking have a fun time. <laughs> That's my advice. My unwarranted, unqualified advice. I don't know. Is this the only path forward? Like, thank God that I found this man immediately so I don't have to date anymore. Why is dating can be fun. Dating does not have to be a war. And maybe that's an old school mentality or, or a Christian mommy blogger mentality. But like even Glennon Doyle, she met Abby while she was still married. No one else. That's it. I see someone else I'm interested in. I will go full force into that relationship. Rachel Hollis gets on a dating app. First guy, presumably she meets. Second guy she ever kisses, allegedly. Goes straight into that relationship deep and hard. <laughs> Jen Hatmaker gets set up with a guy immediately right into it. It's like, these are like the three, you know, not so much anymore, but at one point, the top three women, motivational speakers, women empowerment, and this is their course of action. Now, and I say these women don't necessarily have any sort of expertise on relationships, but they will definitely talk about them over and over and over and over and over again and give you their advice about what you should do and be a dating warrior and whatever. Just be careful. That's my only advice. Be careful about who you're listening to because it's not all this way. Um, what I do like is how a lot of you guys have welcomed him in on the, my sort of intro post where I just brought him to the community and you were like, we're so happy to meet you. Like, we're so glad you're here. We're, we are, we're just already a fan of you. And if you hurt Jen, we will hunt you down in the streets. I'm like, Ooh. Oh. it's like a, the nicest threat you've ever gotten. You know, I knew that was coming. So anyway, thank you for having my back. But I don't know if you should say that, Jen. <laughs> they will hunt you down in the streets. That's probably just just be a little more sensitive, I would say, be my advice. Okay, we're at like a one second left on this video. So does he. So be, be good to him. Be good to him. Okay, everybody. That's it. That's my dating ramble. <laughs> Tyler. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, Rachel. <laughs> like just have some forethought. Uh, just maybe tone it down with the dragging into the street jokes, perhaps. Maybe not. Live your life. Do whatever you want. But mm, it does come off as like, oh, yikes. Um, okay, let's look at the boyfriend. He will be referred to from now and forever as the boyfriend. Yeah, I don't know what the heck. I mean, that was just a weird, that was like a random video I came across and I was like, okay. Okay, weird. She seems like she definitely does parasocial relationships, darlings, dear ones. Um, okay. This is Tyler Merritt. He's got his own social following, so he's not a complete person private person similar to you know Kez has his own as well from his own industry um so Tyler is a writer author actor activist encourager take my coffee black out now speaking request so he's sort of in the same genre uh for is what she is in a different world but I would say and someone pointed this out on reddit okay she's here they did like a Instagram live um, about her tour. Okay, so he's promoting her there and then promoting her here. So she's, people on Reddit were saying that he doesn't post her enough. I mean, he's posted her a couple times. Maybe not as much as she posts him perhaps, but you know, she seems to be one of those people who posts like every second of their life. Um, okay, this is what he said about her on July, or sorry, August 7th. 
Sugar butter flour. This combination has surely been responsible for my blood sugar spiking multiple times as I indulge in my 3 a.m. late night snack fest almost every evening of my life. But this combination is also most definitely responsible for the now historic meat cute with the one of the absolute best people I've ever known, my lady, the ridiculously lovely Jen Hatmaker. Today is her birthday. Pop open the wine cocktail, people, and I am just so thankful for all the incredible things that she brings to my life and into the world. Listen, with a million responsibilities swirling around her. <laughs> Ouch. Ow. Tara's doing that thing where she like, cats like take their hands and do that with my foot. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, every single day, she always finds a way to stop. Look people in the eye and see them exactly where they are. It's one of her many superpowers and I love it. I've said this before and I'll say it again. I feel sad for folks that never get the chance to actually meet her face to face. Because any one-liner, one-line persona, any idea of what you think she may be like, or any assumption that you may perceive when it comes to Jen, in real life, she's just better. She just is. The amount of time that we have spent laughing at the most ridiculous inappropriate would likely get us both canceled. <laughs> correction. Would definitely get us both canceled. Sorry. So they laugh secretly. Would likely get us both canceled. Correction. Would definitely get us both canceled. Things in is immeasurable immeasurable people laughing together while attempting to make the world a better place now that's a pretty dope combination sugar butter flour i like it okay speaks pretty nicely about her uh you know yeah they they have that uh that relationship where you know the whole world gets to be in on the poem (laughs) gets to be in on the poetry uh if you see my instagram you see nothing (laughs) I keep my love private. I just, I don't know. Why do they need to know? Why does anyone on the internet need to be like, you know what? I love Steven. I love this person so deeply. It's like, okay, great. Goodbye. I don't know. That's how I feel about things. 